hello friends welcome back once again so today i am going to discuss about a very you know important concept from java oops and this concept is abstraction guys in my previous videos i have talked about you know complete syllabus of oops in java and i have also discussed in my previous videos about data hiding so i request you guys if you have not gone through my last video you can go and have a look around that so today we today we gonna discuss about the abstraction and it's a quite you know important question for interview perspective so let's go and have a discussion about this beautiful oops feature so abstraction so abstraction is basically you know where in abstraction we hide the implementation and operational part and we just show the some sets of services offer so it's a quite simple definition and it's a quite simple also abstraction concept is quite simple so i have just you know keep you know quite simple definition for it and the definition of abstraction says hiding internal implementation and just highlighting sets of services offering so in abstraction we hide the internal implementation and operation from outer world and we just show them some sets of services what we are offering so let's say the Uh, see the example and the best example for abstraction is atm machine so basically in atm machine if you go to atm machine and if we insert our card then we are you know end up with a screen called uh, cash withdrawal balance check mini statement mobile number updation etc and etc so this is nothing but sets of services offered by atm machine to us and the sets of services offered by atm machine to us are nothing but cash withdrawal balance check mini statement etc isn't it but guys if uh, once you insert your no atm machine in atm card do you have an idea what is running behind do you have any idea where the server is kept by bank people so that it can catch all your stuff and it will give you the you no know, your account details do so no we don't have an idea about what type of programming is running behind what type of functionality is running behind what type of server is implemented behind so we are not aware of all these stuffs so we don't aware of internal implementation we don't aware of where the server is running and all so sets of services offered by atm is cash withdrawal balance check mini statement so this sets of services is shown to world but they are hiding the internal implementation that which type of programming language is running which type of servers they have installed what type of functionality what type of stuffs they are you know operating so these are completely hiding by the bank people so this is a you no know, great example of abstraction right so we will see the example of abstraction in terms of programming So I have a program for you guys, and it's a quite simple program in Java where I have a class demo that is you know main class, and I have a class called laptop. So in laptop class, I have a method called camera, and this camera method you know print the click photo. So it's a quite simple program in public class demo. I have just created no object for laptop class, and where I am calling the camera method. So it will, if we run this program, it will print click photo, right? now if you wanted to achieve abstraction here then what i will do is i want my camera to dance so i wanted to insert a method called dance and i have inserted a dance but i don't know how it is going how how my laptop is going to be dance so i will write you know implementation part later on but i want my laptop to dance so i have just you know written one method but i don't know the implementation part now so i have one undeclared method in this and this is public void dance so any classes which have declared method they are known as abstract class and one more important feature if any class will be abstract then we need to write the class we need to know write a keyword called abstract before the class so here public void dance is a method which is abstract method and class laptop is a abstract abstract class friends remember one of the more uh, one of the most important concept from abstraction is that we cannot create the instance of an abstract class we cannot create 
create the instance of abstract class so if i have made the laptop class as abstract then this object which i have created in demo class is invalid it will give the compilation issue then the question is why we cannot create the instance of abstract class so here uh, the answer is in class laptop we have two method that method is called camera and dance so camera method know what to print right so camera method know what his uh, functionality is so it will click photo but dance method is not having any you know information what it will perform so obviously it's no say logical thing to perform right so always we cannot create instance of an abstract class we cannot create an object of an is abstract class so always remember this one so i have uh, no one important notes from abstraction part is by using interface and abstract class we can implement abstraction so obviously if you know we have you know any abstract we need we used to know we need to use abstract keyword before class then it is abstraction and also by using interface so in coming videos i will discuss about the interface in detail okay so uh, that what is the advantage of abstraction the first advantage is security because we are hiding the you know internal implementation and operational part we are just showing world to our you no know, some sets of features so quite secure our you know back in uh, steps are quite secure enhancement is easy you know if we are taking example of adm machine so if you wanted to enhance something else then uh, you know in our operational part implementation part or our at coding level we can you know do all this stuff but it will not disturb you know gui part where atm is installed so enhancement is also maintenance application is easy maintaining the application is easy because it's quite easy to use because we are just offering sets of services to the world we are not you know uh, letting them involve in our internet implementation and uh, operational stuff so this is all about abstraction and this is quite simple it all cover all the important uh, question from interview perspective they will not going to ask any more question from abstraction so this is quite simple in my next video i will discuss about the encapsulation part from java of syllabus so like share and subscribe my channel ek umeed help for upcoming videos thank you for watching all my videos guys have fun happy learning